Okay, thank you. Uh, Cami says, I recently went to the doctor to find out that my DHEA levels are extremely high. My testosterone level was normal. I've had an ultrasound done to check my ovaries, and they are normal with no cysts. They believe I have polycystic ovarian disorder. However, I have normal periods and do not have the basic symptoms of PCOD. I've been put on metformin, even though in my heart I'm truly against taking prescription medications. What natural way can I treat this, and is there a cure for it? Well, number one, let's go back. I think you read to me that they checked her ovaries and they didn't find anything. Is that correct or no? Right. Well, you know, how do we, how do we in medicine uh, physically look at something and determine nothing's there and then put a label on it? Polycystic problem. I mean, number one, cysts are little pimples. They look, you know, just like pimples we get as we're growing up. That's what it looks like inside the body. They can become large and nasty, though. Now, what that is almost always from is a microbial infection. And no wonder the ovaries is a great area to get that because they're damp. They're a damp part of the body. Mm -hmm. But if one is healthy and circulation is good and they haven't had you know, a major contamination like chronic fatigue syndrome or long-term mononucleosis or HIV or one of these things that really weaken the immune system and prevent the immune system from holding back the systemic nature of microbes, uh, you ought not to contract these things. And so just what I've said causes it. You've got to reverse it by increasing immunological function, immune system strength. You've got to direct things to the ovary. For instance, uh, when they looked at ovarian tumors in the form of cancer at the University of Michigan, they actually showed in vitro in a vitri, uh, uh, petri dish. I changed it to a vitri dish, petro. <laughs> petri dish, basically 100% of the time that you applied it to ginger, it ceased and desist. It died. Now, I'm not going to say that the study that showed it did this to cancer would be the same for cystic problems, but I would certainly utilize it in that case because if it can take away another mass and formulation of abnormal cell development, why would it not have some effect on polycystic problems? And so, you know, it's a little strange, but it's common for me to hear that they haven't found anything, but anyway, just for the heck of it, we're going to give you a drug and name a disease. As I said early on, a doctor is put in a position by you most of the times that you want a name, so they give you a name. They put you in a category. You're pigeonholed, and that's that.